Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Power Gunner. So a few weeks ago, I made a survey for you guys to fill out. And one of the questions on that survey listed some games and then it asked you guys to check the boxes for like each game that you're looking forward to. So I thought that it would be interesting to make this video of your, as in like you guys' most anticipated games, not just of 2015, but also some in 2016. Just most anticipated games in general that will come out at some point that haven't come out yet. So on this list are all of the games that at least 50% of people said that they were looking forward to, and there are six games on the list. So I will start counting them down soon, but keep in mind that some of the games did end up having a tie with how many they got. So since I didn't do the survey myself, I just thought that I would be the person who breaks the tie and says which game I am looking forward to more. So I did intervene with these and break some ties based on what I am looking forward to the most. So yeah, first at number 6 we have Just Cause 3. This game got 12 votes after 24 people had filled out the survey. And I gotta be honest, I don't know that much about this game, but I am looking forward to it. I have not played any of the past games in the Just Cause series, but from what I do know about it, it sounds fun because it sounds like just this massive open world where you just mess around, blow things up, and have fun, which totally sounds like something that I would be into. Then at number 5, we have No Man's Sky with 14 votes. This is a game that I am looking forward to a lot, and I actually know quite a bit about it based on what has been shown so far. Basically, there is a procedurally generated universe of planets that you can go out and explore. Now, I really like this game's art style and the basic idea behind it, and it should be fun to just go out and see all these different planets out there, and hopefully there's quite a bit of things to do in the game to keep you playing other than just seeing what's out there. Although, just to see what's out there is a pretty big reason just to play the game on its own. Then at number 4, there is Tom Clancy's The Division. This game got 15 votes, and so did another game, which I will talk about soon. This is one of the ones where I did end up having to intervene and break the tie. And I would say that I am moderately excited for this game. I think that the concept of it looks very cool, although lately with Ubisoft games, they've kind of been releasing games that are broken and just not up to people's expectations. So I don't know about this one, I'm very cautious on it, but I will say that if it totally delivers on what we've seen, which I don't think it will to be honest, then this game would be really good. So there's that. Then at number 3, the other game with 15 votes is Star Wars Battlefront. Now with this game I would say that I am a little bit more than moderately excited for it. For this game too, I don't totally trust it to be bug free and without glitches when it comes out because with Battlefield 4, yeah, you saw how that went down. That. <laughs> That was a pretty bad game launch, and it's being made by the same people. But hey, I love Star Wars, and playing through some of the greatest battles in those movies on my current gen console does sound quite appealing to me. Then at number 2, we have a game that comes out very, very soon, and I myself am looking forward to this one a lot. It is Batman Arkham Knight. So this game got 20 votes, that's 20 out of 24 people are looking forward to this game, so it's pretty high. Now, this game did tie the number one game, but I just went in and broke the tie. But yeah, we will get to the number one game soon, but first, Batman Arkham Knight. I love the Batman Arkham series. I haven't played Batman Arkham Origins, but I've played the main titles in it, which are Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City. I love both of those games. It feels like Batman and those games are really fun to play. And Batman Arkham Knight seems to be taking the story to the next level, the gameplay to the next level, and everything just being bigger and awesomer. So yep, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to next month when that game comes out. And then, your guys and mine, because I broke the tie and made this number one most anticipated game for the future, not necessarily any year, is Uncharted for A Thief's End. Naughty Dog is a great developer. They know what they're doing in making awesome AAA games with great characters. I love the Uncharted series and I can't wait to play through its conclusion in spring of 2016. I seriously hope that this game 
will be awesome, and I think it will be. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Tell me in the comments what you thought of this. Well, overall, this is what you guys thought before, just put into a video. But yeah, tell me again if you would like what games you are looking forward to. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys some other time. Have a great day.